today is Sunday, October 15th, 2023. It's about 8 o'clock a.m. Just enjoying the morning, having my morning coffee. And I am here in a small town called Titusville, Florida. Just on, a way, on my way back from a camping trip. And uh, decided to stay a night at a KOA campground, which is a, it's um, abbreviated for Campgrounds of America. They have a bunch of different locations all over the US. Uh, this was my first time staying at one of them. And uh, I gotta say, it wasn't too bad. Uh, so it's uh, kind of like your, not your typical state park type of campground. This is more of like a, like a luxury type of campground, I guess you can say. They have um, different type of rentals that you can do. You can do um, just like a tent site rental, some of them have. You can also do uh, like an RV type of trailer rental that's already pre-set up. Uh, and you can do cabin rentals as well. So I went with a cabin rental. Uh, it was only like, I think $75 for the night. Um, so I'm gonna, Give you a little tour of this place here. This is my first time uh, ever staying at one of these. And uh, I'm just gonna put my coffee down here. I gotta say, it was uh, pretty enjoyable. You know, if you're just looking for somewhere to stay just for the night, something more simple that's not gonna break the, the bank, this might be an option for you. So, this is what the cabin looks like. This is the outside. So, uh, pretty nice right underneath these. Uh, trees here and they have a picnic table out here and then there's also a grill uh, out here as well and here's what the cabin looks like it's very simple very you know small simple um, and then they had this little porch area with a little uh, rocking bench here in the front and as you can see, uh, this is what the rest of the campground looks like. They have uh, different trailers, I think some of them that are already pre-set up that you can rent out. I think you can you can bring your own trailer too. I think there's some sites back there that you can bring your own trailers or if you just have a tent, you can just pitch a tent. Um, here's another cabin right here. Down that way, uh, down this road here, there's actually some other cabins that are bigger um, might sh I might show you that later on, but uh, there's some other cabins there. Uh, my cabin's the most simplest cabin. Uh, it doesn't have a bathroom or anything. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look inside. I'll show you around. It's got this nifty little door uh, latch. This is how you open the door. Just push that down. And... Sorry, the lighting isn't the greatest in here because there's only one light, which is the ceiling fan light. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is the <laughs> the door handle. You just lift this up, and then it pulls out. Put it back down. Um, but yeah, so it's got AC. As you can see, there's an AC unit right there, and uh, this one has three beds so there's a bunk bed right here and it got the bottom bunk and then this is a full-size bed right here so uh, technically you can fit four people uh, two people on this bed and then one person up there one person down there although this is kind of small for two people not gonna lie but for one person it's great or even two people um, there's no bathroom as I said uh, you have to use the uh, campground bathroom which they have like the men's and the women's they have the showers all that just like if you're staying at uh, a regular campground at a state park um, they do have other cabins that have their own bathrooms so if you're looking for that and want to pay a little more uh, you can have that option but the room is very simple you know nice and cozy uh, not really a whole lot to it just a couple places you know you can put your stuff there different little things you can hang your hang things on, you know, your towel, things like that. But, uh, yeah, got a little window here. Not much of a view, but 
I mean, look, if you're gonna, if you want somewhere just to stay, just to sleep at, wake up the next morning, head on out somewhere else, this might be a good option for you. One thing to keep in mind, you do have to bring your own linens, uh, which I did happen to have. So, you know, I had a, a pillow that I brought with me, a little blanket. This is basically some of the stuff that I use for camping. And um, part of the reason why I did this is because I was kind of getting tired of setting up my tent and my camp and then breaking it back down, setting it back up again at the next place I go to. So I wanted to give myself a little break from that. Um, and you know, this was actually a, a great solution. Just, you know, I came in here uh, yesterday evening, got my little cabin, the keys to it, went in, set up my bed here and then uh, that's it. And then I just pack my stuff up and get ready to head on out. So I don't have to spend that much time breaking down camp and all that. So uh, yeah, this is a, uh, this campground of America is in Titusville. It's called uh, Titusville Kennedy Space Center, Kennedy Space Center Campground of America. Uh, again, they have them all over the US. So it uh, might be something for you to uh, consider, you know, uh, if you're looking for some, something that's under $100. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video here of what the Campground of Americas look like, the KOAs. And uh, I'll see you in the uh, next adventure. All right. Oh yeah, so uh, I guess I can show you guys a little bit of what this campground looks like here, at Campground of America. So uh, it's my cabin right there. And uh, just looking for a place to fill up my water jug. I'm not sure if they have uh, a water fountain area here, but I guess we'll find out. But this is the, uh, the bathhouse here. It's the, the women's. The men's is over here on the other side. Some more uh, trailer sites and RV sites. the men's restroom there with the showers and bathrooms then they have this uh, a camp kitchen area here so you can do your dishes some cooking things like that and uh, yeah, not seeing a water jug or a, a water I guess you can fill my I could technically fill my water there but I'd rather uh, find a different spot but um, yeah, as far as the cleanliness goes, uh, the bathrooms were very clean. The cabin itself was very clean. You can tell they thoroughly try to clean the area multiple times a day. Um, nice, quiet campground. So yeah, really nothing to uh, complain about. Um, the AC didn't work all that great in my cabin. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, nothing to really complain about, so, um, yeah, that's it, and, uh, signing off, see you in the next video.